Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is a unedited makeup tutorial. So I'm getting ready for the day and this is a makeup look that I'm doing basically every single day when I'm wearing makeup. Not gonna lie, in the summer I'm not wearing loads of makeup. But this is what I do when I want to get ready quickly. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. So I'm first applying my foundation. This is the Miss Forty foundation in the lightest shade. And I believe this is in the color ivory. And here I'm looking for my foundation brush. I couldn't find it. So I'm applying it with a different brush. Usually I'm using the Real Techniques Face Expert brush, which is my favorite. But here I'm using a brush from Primark, which is also very nice. And I find that this um, is the quickest way to apply foundation. I also used a, a sponge in the past, which I still really like. But I find that brush is just slightly quicker. This foundation is very light on my skin and I'm not applying too much. So it is nice and light for the summer. Then I'm going to apply my concealer and this concealer is from Revo Love Me or Revo Heart Me, I'm not really sure. But um, I bought this by the Rosman here in Marmaris and um, yeah, this is also a very nice light foundation. Also again in the lighter shade and I'm just dabbing this in with my finger. This concealer is very affordable, like it was around 60 or 70 liras, I would say. But the Rosman in Turkey does have quite a lot of affordable makeup brands. So if you're looking for some cheap makeup, check out the Rosman here in Turkey. And I believe this is a um, German drugstore. So I'm just applying the concealer where I need a bit more coverage because like I said, the foundation is quite light. Um, although you can build it up nicely. But, but I just love concealer because I'm a tired mom and I always use some concealer under my eyes to brighten up the look. Then I'm going in with a powder and this is quite an expensive powder. I'm not gonna lie, this is the Chanel Loose Powder. But I have to say the quality is amazing. Your makeup will stay perfect all day long. I use this on my wedding day as well. And yeah, you just don't need to touch up that much. And especially if you live in a hot country like me, you need a good powder. And you just need the tiniest bit so it goes a long way. And let me know if you guys wear makeup in the summertime. Um, to be honest, I'm not wearing makeup too much because yeah, it is just too hot. Then I'm going in with a bronzer and this is like a shimmer brick from the Action um, in the Netherlands. And this is a dupe for the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. And this is just a very easy way to apply some bronzer and blush in one. Um, really love the color, very natural and you can build this up nicely. And I'm applying this on my cheeks but also on my forehead. To because I'm so pale so I definitely need some bronzer. And then I'm going in with this huge highlighter from Catrice and this is the Carvier Gaucher something like that <laughs> palette and um, honestly it's a very lovely um, highlighter. I'm applying this on my cheekbones but also a bit on my nose and I just think that a um, highlighter gives you that little extra And because it's so big, it goes a long way. 
and then I'm doing my eyebrows and I'm using this pencil for the longest time honestly I keep buying it this is from Essence and this is the eyebrow designer in the color blonde and um, yeah, I've been using this for many many years it's a great option very affordable and the color is not too warm and not too like cool toned for blondes so And I'm not really sure about my hair today, so let me know what you guys think. I applied some mousse in my hair because uh, after the shower I have quite some waves going on. But um, yeah, I, I used some mousse in my hair and I scrunched it. And yeah, I'm not really sure. Let me know what you guys think of my hair. So I'm then going to apply some eyeshadow and I'm using this iHeart Revolution Pizza Palette which got so many gorgeous shades and um, I honestly go for this palette a lot and I think iHeart Revolution is great value for money like the colors are very pigmented and um, if you want to apply like a quick eyeshadow look this is just great and I'm using a um, matte shade and I'm applying this in the crease and then I'm also going in with a slightly darker color to define it a bit more and this color blends so well so you can apply an eyeshadow look in like a few minutes And I'm going to get a shimmery shade and I'm applying this all over my lid. And this is like my go-to eyeshadow look. A matte shade in my crease and a shimmery shade on my eyelid. And you have a look in like, you see, like two minutes. And then I'm blending it all together. And then I'm going to apply some mascara and I'm using the Revolution Mascara. And uh, this is very nice. Um, I've got this one now for a few weeks. And um, yeah, I really like it. I usually um, repurchase my Essence Mascara, which I also really love. But uh, this is a nice change. It does give me a lot of volume. And again, it's very affordable because it's Revolution makeup. And let me know in the comments down below your favorite mascara. Um, I always repurchase the same one. But um, yeah, I also really loved the L'Oreal Telescopic, I believe it's called, mascara. Which is a bit more pricey. But um, yeah, that was one of my favorites. And then I just went back to the Essence one. But as you can see, this mascara gives me so much volume as well. And yeah, I, I really love it. I never put mascara on my bottom lashes because I find them very long. So I don't know, it just looks crazy to me if I apply it on my bottom lashes.
And then the last step is obviously my lips and I always go back to the same colors. So I'm applying a lip liner from Essence and this is a very nice pinky shade. And then on top of that I always use a lip gloss. And my favorite lip gloss of all time is the NYX Butter Gloss and it goes just really well with the Essence lip liner. And I always use a lip liner because my lips are quite small and I always make them slightly bigger. Not too crazy, but just slightly. And then, um, yeah, I use my NYX Butter Gloss in the color Eclair, which is again a very nice pink shade. Um, it is not glittery, but just very shiny. And um, yeah, it does make my lips appear a bit bigger. So yeah, this is like my quick everyday makeup look. Let me know what you guys think of it. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this no edited makeup tutorial. If you like to see more, let me know. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos. Bye.